Uh, and I apologize. Um, Ishwak. Ishwak. Ishwak, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. I'm very white. Uh, we are here with Ishwak Singh at uh, the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles, uh, promoting uh, his new film, Berlin. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I know, to be here. I know you are, uh, uh, haven't slept in a little while. Yep. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, Understandable. absolutely. Just coming uh, in from India. So we, we have actually seen the film, absolutely love the film. Thanks. Uh, and your performance in it, actually, particularly. Um, I, I want to know first, what drew you, I mean, I can think of some reasons, sure. but what drew you to this uh, role specifically? Oh, it's, it's always the writing. I mean, for me, the, the, you know, the funny thing is, i just get into the detail. Uh, I got a call and I was driving, going to, for a shoot, uh, thick of, you know, middle of something, you know, I was going to call with the casting director and uh, Atul, the director. And he gave, he gave me an outline, like in just, you know, in like a minute, whatever you could tell about the film. And I was like, sure, I mean, I'd love to read some of it. I hung up and I called back the casting director. It was a con call. I was like, I don't need, I don't want to read it. I just, you know, it's like, it was mm -hmm. magical. I knew it's, it's something very, very special. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I actually read it, I was, uh, he narrated it to me. And when I read it, I was like, this is one, one of the best scripts I've ever read. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's 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 the writing, man. It just it's it, you know it always is, and you see that there's so much. I would call it a, a perfect script because for me it's a perfect script. It does everything that I look for in a in a in a film in a script. You know, it's got the undertones, got the unsaid stuff, which is which is what you can work with. I had needed to develop a particular skill for this. Mm -hmm. uh, the interpersonal relationships got into that much later, but that's there. So, I mean, whatever I can, you know, it's it, I, what what I guess is a, is like a dream role or an actor really craves for is something that challenges you. Sounds cliche, but it is. Like, you know, where you need to work on relationships, where it's an internal journey, where it's, it's, it's about people, it's about knowing environment, a period, like I said, developing a skill, learning, uh, getting to know about a community, which I did in this case, which was the deaf uh, community, mm -hmm. uh, all of that. So yeah, like a 360 degree kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, I can just go on and on. Absolutely. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it was very clear. We talked about this in our review. It was very clear from the final work that you did that you were assuredly immersive in your research and Thanks. like you said learning the new skill i assume you didn't it's isl that you're speaking in it correct yes. yeah and had you been exposed to that prior to signing this role? not speaking yeah yes yeah did, had you ever had you ever done sign language before no, never i you know and it's so interesting uh that signing is recent i'm sure i don't know how recent it is in uh I mean, it would be recent, not as recent as it is in uh, India, but uh, ISL is some 20 years old when it actually started getting structured, 20, 30, 25 years old. But back in the day in the 90s, uh, there used to be gestures. So, and a few films that got made back in the day, which I saw, good ones, where there was signing by an actor done really well. Uh, those were all gestures. So we didn't really have a reference point. Mm. And for this, uh, the, the moment I, like I said, you know, I, this was exciting for me. Uh, I spoke to Atul when I, I got on board and uh, I was like, I'm going to start learning the, the skill. He's like, there's time. It's about a year maybe, you know. Awesome. I was like, even better. Yeah. I'll, I, I get, you know, so, I, and I was doing multiple things. There was, there was another a, a show that I was doing, yeah. which was very, very intense in the sense that, again, it was, it was something that r required uh, to learn a lot about that, you know, that subject, that time, that period, all of that. Rocket Boys? Ro Rocket Boys. Rocket yes, Boys. yeah. So I was shooting for Rocket Boys, and I was doing a horror show after that. So it was like a bunch of things. Um, so uh, whenever I, I did get time out of, um, I, I, so, so even if it was like one session a week, that's how I started. Yeah. I found a coach, um, and I started sort of, uh, you know, because I thought that if I do this consistent work over a period of time, it would just sink in and it would be a part of me as opposed to, you know, you just do uh, get those two weeks or three, a couple of weeks or even a month or two months before the shoot, then it's, then it's about the work. It's not really learning, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. then it's just about learning those lines because 
uh, that that little that last leg, you know, it's it's just about getting the lines right, making it a part of your system. It's it becomes um, yeah, it's it's exploration is very limited. So I I kind of did this for a while uh, because I was shooting other things. I had to drop it, and I kept sort of going back to it. Mm. Mm. Well, the work Fun. shows. It was, a, it was a roller coaster ride, but I, I really enjoyed it. Did yeah. you become fluent in it? Uh, so yeah, I could communicate with. Uh, I don't remember anything right now, so. I <laughs> no, no, no! I'm not asking you to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I was just. Uh, I assumed uh, this you... is something that I've I've learned. I've kind of tried to because there's one sign I want to do. What is that? I have forgotten everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so this one was. I mean, I, I, for me, I, it just came to me like, you know, if you want to do this, you should be able to communicate with a deaf person. Absolutely. And uh, I made friends in the community. Um, I'm, I'm quite ashamed to do a video call, get on a video call with them now because I wouldn't be able to, you know, I've forgotten pretty much everything. Uh, so we kind of exchange messages once in a while. And, but I could communicate with them. I could talk about stuff. In fact, I kind of, the, the biggest test for me was uh, one of them was was actually became a when I sort of got in touch with this with this girl who runs an NGO and kind of she was uh, one person who was so I, you know I got to like meet a bunch of people and one of them actually came and stayed with me at my place for a mm-hmm. weekend and the thing was for me it was like at that point let me see if, you know how this goes can we sort of that I don't want this to be uh, a sort of an awkward situation where a uh, uh, where he feels like he's out of place, so I feel like, you know, I, I can't communicate with this person. It's like two people living under the same roof, and it has to seem normal mm-hmm. uh, for both of us. Right. And it was, because you know what happens when a friend comes over, what do you do? At, at the end of the day, uh, uh, what do you do at night? You know, you, you, have a, you have a drink together, and then you start talking, express, um, get vulnerable. All of that happened. And he's mm-hmm. telling stories. That's talking about my personal uh, you know exchanging my personal things with him mm. uh, it was it was really uh, amazing and it doesn't really bring it's not like you know I was necessarily I could draw something I, I mean I'm pretty sure I have even if I wouldn't have been able to draw something from that moment but when you wake up the next day you just know that you know this is this that it's it, it's in you now right. mm-hmm. it's right. part of your system yeah it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's you don't need to act part of yeah, the backstory exactly. now it's part of who that yeah. person is yeah yeah and I'm sure obviously you, you said you taught went to in the community as well because not only obviously did you have to sign um, you I believe the character was was born deaf correct yep okay. yeah um, and so you had to be believable as somebody who's always been deaf um, and w- so was that a, a ch- uh, fun for you was it a challenge for you to to learn uh, something that obviously because you, you can hear uh, was it was it challenging for you to uh, to? No, it was to fun. It was. Yeah. I mean, of course, it was challenging. I I normally don't use that word because I think it's it's like, you know, when you see this thing as a, as a part of your, uh, you know, acting is immersive, and you 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 do something. It's it's more about the joy of doing it. And but this was daunting. It kind mm-hmm. of, I used to feel, uh, at times that, how's this gonna happen? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I'm okay about learning about policing and uh, science and Rocket Boys and other stuff that I've done occult in a horror show that I did. Mm-hmm. But uh, this was pretty daunting in that sense. I Absolutely. was I used to get like uh, unnerved. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it uh, just uh, it just came organically. I think it was that you know, it's like why I felt that it wasn't extra work that I did when I said I started working a year ago I just knew that for me to do it probably someone else can do it in two weeks mm-hmm. but for me to feel normal feel co- be comfortable this needs to be done so there were times when I was shooting another show uh, I used to get done with the shoot and you wiped out by the end of it mm. I'd come back to the hotel and I'd schedule a session with my sign language coach and I'd do that because I knew that if I don't do this then uh, I won't make the progress and I won't get to the point where I, I need to. Absolutely. Uh, you know, if you do this in and out, it's it's like you, you know your craft, you know yourself, your limitations, your capabilities. 
if you make that graph initially, and I'm not talking about the character graph, it's like just the, the, the amount of work that you need to put in. For me, it's always that. If I, I know, I get a sense that this is what I need to do. Mm. Uh, I, I might miss it. Right, of <laughs> course. You, 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 can, you can just make, keep making plans. You don't always, they're not actually perfect, but it gets right. you somewhere. Right. So, so I did in this case, I was lucky because yeah. I've seen the film too. I, I mean, I... I uh, you happy with it? I'm, I'm very happy. You with should it. be. I'm very yeah. happy with you it. Normally, I'm, I'm very critical, but I think this is one thing where I think that everything is, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, I was just talking to a friend about it the other day. You know, when I see a film, I get very, very anxious because I feel the pressure for the first time when I see myself on screen on sure. something I'm part of because it's like that's how I'm wired I feel the need to uh, like it's like that performance pressure it's, mm-hmm. you know it's, it's as if I need to perform now that scene again it's, it's strange but when I was watching this it was it was normal it was like I could just see it and I was like I was calm with the, the whole thing that's great. Um, and I'm sure the um, uh, you've worked on many uh, OTT series now. Um, many of the Busa Pitolok and um, um, Rocket Boys, mm-hmm. Men in Heaven. Uh, we haven't seen the horror one yet. Yeah, uh, not yet. Wanted to watch that one. Um, but what, what what are the processes? Do you, do you like the, process, the long, drawn-out process of an OTT series uh, more than a film? Or are they just completely different? What are your, what are your experiences same, with man. that? I mean, deep down, it's all the same. Yeah. While it's not, I mean, going back to theater days, just like doing a play, just like... I mean, it's building the character. And you put in, if you've got that foundation, you can just keep piling up flaws, you know, one above the other. Like an architectural analogy, it's just the same. Once I have the the character, whether it's it's a short play, whether it's a full length play, uh, a short film, a show, um, multiple seasons, it's just about building that character, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I I I you know when I started out, I felt like this pressure of or this need to even if I was doing a scene in a play, I felt the need to sort of know the guy inside out mm. uh, because I thought that at at the end of the day, while you know, I need to know that the guy what he does three sixty five days a, a in a year, and if it's just like that day of the year, it's only then I I know what he where he's at mm-hmm. at that point. Mm-hmm. If you get into the you know if you want to like you know get into the detail of it, so now it's just that I'm you you know I'm seeing so so from from that day, and now when I'm like doing a, a show, it's like you sh- you're seeing me you're year long so it's it, it's not really any different yeah. but it is because uh, you know every uh, the why I guess it's a treat for makers actors to be in a show uh, great place to sort of test your skills uh, that's where you get to know if you if this is really for you or not because there's so much to do so much expected out of you um, in terms of craft, in terms of discipline, in terms of profession, like you, you really need to have uh, uh, not just the chops but the the patience uh, to deal with the discipline. It's long. I mean, it's like mm-hmm. like a show is like making three films. Right. Oh yeah. Sure. You you know, as opposed to a beginning, middle, and end, every uh, every episode has a big beginning, uh, middle, and end in a in a show. So you imagine the the, the number of graphs that you have that you need to the, the amount of work that need, needs to be put in into a show but then again I mean it's, it's, I think it's that's that's why it's it's such a great uh, medium because you get to explore a character to those uh, to that extent absolutely well everything we've seen you do we've enjoyed um, we you. really were looking forward to the day that we could talk to you and this Likewise. one in particular which you'll see with if you get to see the review truly every frame of film in this and everybody in the cast, it, the amount of work and, and, and dedication came through. It's, it's a truly wonderful piece of art. Yeah. Oh, I, I missed, the, missed the most important point. Uh, going back to the first question, I think you're talking about uh, putting in the hours. But you know, it's all, uh, I have to give credit to the, the director and the writer because you're just literally like, you're just like an actor is a vessel. Why I was calm the first time I saw it, 
it's because I I felt that ease while shooting it. Mm. Uh, I was pushed to do all these things, to read books about the deaf community, to get into the history of it, um, mingle with the community, do all of that, you know, find a case study. It, I wasn't doing it. If you think about it, I was just taking cues from the writing. Mm-hmm. Is the writer and his writing that sent me to all these places? Sure. You know, uh, mm-hmm. here and outside. So yeah, it's it's. I think uh, credit goes to the the magician. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. It must have been a dream as an For actor sure. to to do those scenes with with you and and AK. Um, I won't give anything away, but they, they, those were some of our favorite parts of the entire film. When there's yeah, two actors guys. acting on screen, yes, like two heavyweights beautiful. going at it, it was it was it was beautiful to watch. So, thank you so much yeah. for for sitting down with us. It was a joy thank to you. talk to you. Uh, please go watch Berlin and come to the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Yeah.